All right, welcome back to Cholo Flips, where today we're going to bring you the interior of the Ram. Uh, like two days ago, or maybe a week ago, depending on when uh, this video goes. Uh, I did the walk around on the truck, but today is the interior, so let's head that way. So you can see the dash, not the dash, I mean the door. Looks pretty good. One thing is that these speakers in the front don't work. So you got the pedals, got the dash view right there. The seats look pretty decent. They look all right for a 21 year old truck, 22. It's a 98 model. Same. Speakers in the back are pretty loud. I mean, I'm not gonna turn around or nothing. You see the back seat, it's alright. Spark, spark wires I still need to put in sometime. Ghetto tint is fucked up, so yup, that's what happens when you get cheap tint. So don't do that, alright? You see the carpet needs cleaning, obviously. And uh I don't know, but is it a Ram thing to have these? Because uh, I've seen three other Rams and they have this wire. So uh, I don't know if it's a Ram thing, a 90s thing, or a something thing. So uh, I'm going to show you in here closer. Sorry about the sun. Radio is off the market. This house cable came with it. It belonged to a girl. Obviously. The truck also did. So that's where that comes from. I'm missing the cup holder thing from here. This kind of broke. But kind of fixed it. So I have not checked on if this works or not. So... I hope it does, so I can charge my phone when I'm cruising. That's it. And here, paperwork, CDs, all that. You can see it's six in here. I just go like that. There we go. Skeptical box, and the most important thing about is that the dash seems to be all right. Sorry about the quality. I'm a beginner YouTuber. I don't have a GoPro, none of that. So this is all phone based. So let me head out to the other side. Yeah, before we go in there, the bed is all right. The Hello Kitty was not in this truck. Let me have that clear. That came out from a homeboy's G5. He bought two weeks ago, which we'll probably have a video on that car. In a couple of weeks or so. So got jack tents. I forgot to put that when I had a flat. And as you can see, I don't use it much since there's spider webs already. See, the bed is pretty good. That spare is a lot bigger than the original ones because that's I bought that at Facebook Marketplace. I needed the tire bed that weekend, so it was what it was. As long as it fit, fuck it, it went. Alright, so now let's go to the interior now that y'all saw the bed. Alright, so the passenger side looks about alright. I see this leaning way back because I was chilling last night. Listen to music. Needs a cleanup, obviously. Other than that, it's all good. Look at that. Look at the dash again. I mean, it's cracked, but 90s product. There you go for a 90s product. Shit looks alright. Floor mats. All that is good. Alright, now I'm gonna crank it up. And y'all can see the engine now. 
All right, let's fire up this boy. I'm not gonna rev it or nothing. Let me turn it on. There you go. Okay, so it's a Christmas tree over here. So the RPM cage does not work. Speedometer does not work. Oil thing does not work. Well, nothing in the dash works. I don't even know if mileage is even moving, but that's the mileage right there. And uh, I don't know if every ram does this or truck does this, but look, it's on and the key is out. And then it goes beep, beep, beep. And I don't know if that's normal or not, but engine bay is next. All right, that's a 5.9 Magnum. It looks all right. Alright, so here you go, buds. It's a video on the RAM, and that concludes the RAM series videos. Unless I throw some rims in there or something, but uh, after this, it should be uh, more vehicles. Or why not? Please subscribe, follow me on Snap, Cholos, follow me on Instagram, it's Cholo Flips. Thank you. Have a blessed night.